In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to set up the CSX C536X heart rate monitor. Included in the box is the training watch and the chest belt. The chest belt transmits your heart rate to the training watch and when you first take the training watch and chest belt out of the box you need to remove the protective stickers. To start the training watch just press one of the buttons. You will see all of the lights flash and the training watch begins to start. It then flashes basis. There are three user levels available, basic, normal and pro. In the basic user level, only the heart rate mode is available along with the display of the stopwatch. In normal user level, only the time and heart rate mode is available, while in the heart rate mode you can also display time, stopwatch and training zone. And finally, in the pro user level, all modes and all displays are available. And we would recommend setting up the heart rate monitor in the pro user level to get the most from your training. For this example, I'm going to show you how to set up the CSX heart rate monitor in the pro user level. A quick tip for setting up and entering data, in general press the set button which is the button on the bottom left hand side to move through the setting pages and press the select button which is the button on the bottom right hand side named SEL to change the values and to exit setup you would press the mode button which is the button on the top right. If you have previously set up the heart rate monitor and wish to change the settings, press and hold the light button on the top left for at least 4 seconds to enter setup. Before we begin the setup, you will need to know your weight in pounds or kilograms. Ok, so let's begin the setup. I'll press the button again to start up the heart rate monitor. As you can see, basis is currently flashing for the basic user level. We want to select the pro user level, so we're going to press the select button to change the value. So there you can see it's now normal for the normal user level, and we're going to select pro fee for the pro user level, and then press set at the bottom left to confirm. Next is the language. We can choose German or English. Press the select button to change the value. So we'll select English and press the set button to confirm. Next is the clock format, time and date. 24 hour is currently flashing. You can choose 12 or 24 hour military time, press select to choose the value, so you can select 12 hour or 24 and then press set to confirm. We will then press select to enter the desired hour. You can press and hold select to increase the numbers rapidly. Press set to confirm. We will then press select to enter the desired minutes. Press set to confirm. Then next press select to zero the seconds. And press set to confirm. 
Next we'll enter the year using the select button. Press set to confirm. Enter the month using the select button. Press set to confirm. Enter the date using the select button. Press set to confirm. And then enter your date of birth year. You will see the date of birth default value is 1950. If your date of birth is before 1950, then increase the year beyond 2010 and the counter will start again at 1900. To provide an example, press select to enter the birth year. And you can press and hold select to increase the numbers rapidly. You can see we have gone beyond 2010 and the numbers now go back to 1900. So we'll enter a date of birth year. And we'll press set to confirm the year. Enter the month you were born using the select button. Press set to confirm. Enter the date you were born. Press set to confirm. Enter your gender using the select button. Press set to confirm. Next is your maximum heart rate. This value is automatically calculated by the training watch using your date of birth. It uses the calculation of 220 minus your age. For example, for a 38 year old, that's 220 minus 38, which is 182 beats a minute, which you can see here. I would recommend that if you are new to exercise and have not done a heart stress test before, that you use the default values recommended. The CSX Heart Rate Training eBook does, however, include information for other ways of calculating your maximum heart rate and how to do a heart rate stress test to find your actual maximum heart rate. As an example, I am 38 years old. My maximum heart rate should be 182 BPM, but my recent stress test showed a value of 191 BPM. So I am going to increase the maximum heart rate value to 191. But if you are new to exercise, I strongly recommend to use the default value. As you can see, we've exited setup mode. So if you're following this along step by step, your watch will have done the same. To go back into setup mode, we need to press the light button for approximately four seconds. We now go back into setup mode. You can see we're at the first screen where we select the user level. So we'll press the set button to scroll through each of the screens. And we're back to maximum heart rate. So we're going to increase this to 191. and we'll press set to confirm. Next we'll set our weight. First of all we need to choose the units of kilograms or pound. Enter the units using the select button. Press set to confirm. and then enter your weight using the select button. Press set to confirm. Next is the LED indicator. The LED indicator flashes green when you are training in the heart rate zone 
and red when you are out of the zone. It's useful to provide a visual confirmation that you are training in the correct zone. There is further information regarding training in zones in the CSX Heart Rate Monitor Training eBook and I will also provide some further information in the next video where we begin to use the heart rate monitor. Press the select button to turn the LED indicator on or off. Press set to confirm. And finally, we can choose if we would like the watch button sounds on or off. We'll press the select button to turn the sounds on or off. And press set to confirm. And we have now set up the heart rate monitor training watch. If you wish to edit any of those settings, press and hold the light button for around 4 seconds and you can then work your way through the settings using the set button and press select to change any of the values. Please watch the next video where we walk you through the functions of the heart rate monitor and connecting the chest belt to the training watch.